When it comes to shotguns and multi-dart shooting blasters, Nerf is really lacking. Yes, you have the sludge fire and the rough cut with the sludge fire being this kind of big, slow reloading, bulky ammo blaster. And the rough cut, I really have nothing bad to say about the rough cut. The rough cut is pretty darn awesome. But you really don't have that many choices when it comes to multi-dart shooting blasters. So if you're in the market for a new breed of shotgun or just a new kind of multi-dart shooting blaster, and you would really like it to come in pistol size, well, Custom 3D Nerf may have whipped up something especially for you. In this video, we're gonna be checking out this 3D printed Cyclone Shock Cylinder that shoots three darts per shot. Right off the bat, like with all other Custom 3D Nerf items that I've reviewed, this one is very hefty and solid. Um, it feels good, it has a nice weight to it, and uh, if you're used to hammer shot cylinders, this one looks really big. If you look at the front of the cylinder, you will notice a lot of barrels. There are 18 of them, which gives you six shots of three darts. So think of it like having six sledge fire shells firing one after the other in the space of about three or four of them, which is pretty darn good. The barrel fit on this is around 17, 30 seconds. It feels like 17, 30 seconds to me. So that's what I'm gonna say it is, is about a 17, 30 seconds brass fit. So newer darts may have to be twist fit into it. And of course your dart fit is going to depend on how used your dart is, what type of dart it is, FBJ, Kush, Elite, whatever it is. So you might get uh, differing ranges and stuff depending on what dart you use, um, especially if they are worn out. Now there are three notes I'd like to say about this cylinder. The first one being, this is not a simple drop-in kit. You'll have to do some modification to the Cyclone Shock shell itself by cutting off the little uh, 90 degree turn uh, bit at the top uh, that holds the cylinder in place in order to let the darts uh, shoot out of the cylinder properly. If you don't do that, they won't work, so it's kind of mandatory. I also had to shave down uh, these little ridges that were on the rotation mech in order for the piece to fit in uh, over the rotation mech. Uh, it, I don't know if all Cyclone Shocks have this, but mine did, so I had to take a razor blade and kind of cut them down and do a little fine tuning in order for this to fit properly. The second thing to note with this is that because it is 3D printed, you may have to do some fine tuning to your barrels. Some of my barrels were just too tight and other ones were a perfect fit, but they had these little jagged bits sticking into them. So when I put a dart in, it would scrape up the side of it, um, both hurting the dart and also giving it a little bit of a too tight fit for the dart. So there's a really simple solution for this. If you take a half inch drill bit and you just go to town inside of the barrels, uh, you can get rid of all the little bits sticking in there and you can also open them up for a better dart fit uh, so your darts don't get stuck inside the barrels when you fire them. So if you do buy this kit, I highly recommend you just go through each barrel with a half inch drill bit to kind of clean it up. I think I still have to do some fine tuning on mine. Uh, I think some of the barrels may be a bit too tight still. The third note is about a question I got on Reddit and that is uh, if you load one or two darts, will it still fire? And the answer is no. Because the Cyclone Shock and, well, the cylinder itself don't have smart ARs, if you only load one or two darts into the barrel, uh, the air pressure will take the pathway of least resistance and go out the empty barrel. So if you're gonna be using this, you have to fill up all three barrels with darts or else it will just dry fire. So that's basically it about the cylinder. It's just a one piece item that kind of is self-explanatory and there's really not much to go over with it. So I'm gonna put this into a stock Cyclone Shock and let's take it outside and see how well it performs. So really quick shooting test that might be the shortest one I've ever had because there is still some more fine tuning to be had with this cylinder and I've already put a bunch of fine tuning into this already. So as you saw, some of the darts were not leaving the barrels, other ones were not going as far as they should, but for the shots that did fire off all three darts, they were getting pretty darn good performance. I believe Custom 3D Nerf said uh, the ranges are about 25 to 40 feet. Uh, really depends on your dart. So with new dart, I was getting 
30 feet without much drop, which is pretty darn good. So now all I have to do is fine tune the other barrels to get them to that, uh, that performance and that would be pretty darn awesome. So the big question is, how much does this cylinder cost? I paid $40 for it. Yes, $40, that is expensive for a single cylinder. That is $10 less than custom 3D Nerf's uh, a do-it-yourself Apollo pump grip kit minus the hardware, which I honestly think would be a better buy than this cylinder, especially if you have an Apollo. This is just too much money for me to say, yeah, this is awesome, go get it. Uh, this has a very, very small market. Uh, I guess I can really only see it being used for those who want a pistol-sized blaster that can scatter some darts out so it's harder to dodge, or if you play HVZ where multiple dart hits are required to take out a zombie type, or if you just play a nerf game where multiple dart hits are required to take someone out. Very small market for this, and it is quite pricey. And along with the price, there is a lot of fine tuning that you need to do to get all the barrels firing correctly and in this nice synchronized fashion to get the most range that you can out of this thing. Now, if $40 doesn't bother you and you really want to get your hands on one of these cylinders, I will have a link to Custom 3D Nerf's eBay page in the description. I believe right now, as in me sitting in this chair recording this video, he is ordering some filament, so orders and items may be put on hold. Um, but yeah, it will be there in the future once he gets his stuff so uh, just keep looking if it's not there now so there you have it that is a look at custom 3d nerfs cyclone shock shotgun cylinder which is really hard for me to say uh, an interesting very cool unique concept that is a bit too expensive for me to really recommend yeah but uh gonna try and make a build for this that is uh cool and kind of shows it off but for now thank you for watching and have a great day wherever you are